Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Togan's Fly Shop, Maui Jim Sunglasses, and Hardy Rods and Reels. Good day folks, uh, I'd like to welcome again on the bench. Today we're going to tie up my version of the Black Ghost. This is uh, some different materials on this fly as you'll see in the pattern books or whatever. I, this, this is the one I like to fish. The Black Ghost has really been a good fly for me over the years. Uh, fishing mostly uh, brook trout is what I would target with it and it works very well. Uh, there's other species that'll, that'll eat this fly as well but primarily what I'd use on, a, on brook trout. Now, I'd substitute a couple materials here. Uh, got a hair wing on it to make it a lot more stronger than the, uh, the traditional hackle wing. And I made the more of the ghost with the squirrel on the inside of the wing, as you can see. So we'll go over the materials we need to tie this fly. We'll get a hook in the vise. We'll get started here. I'm going to use a 3x streamer hook. This is from our folks at Togans. This is a size uh, 8. Pretty common size here for that. And then I'm going to be using some 6 aught black thread wax thread, the body we're going to be using some black floss, the uh, tail and throat we're going to be using some yellow hackle, the under wing I'm just going to put a couple strands of this uh, Togan's uh, black steel crony skin, it's just kind of a scaly looking black, looks good, and then the wing I'm just going to be using some squirrel under the bottom, some natural squirrel and some white calf tail for the wing. And uh, then we'll use some solar res to finish the fly off. So we'll get started here. We'll get our 6 aught thread on the hook. Dress our shank. Then we'll come in with some yellow hackle. Pinch that off. Tie that in right here at the top of the bend, right around the bend there. I'll just tie this. No, oh, just a minute. I don't want to forget one thing I forgot about. Is our Semperfly mirror tinsel, the silver tinsel. We need that for the body for sure. I'll tie that in. Then I'll come forward, tie off the 6 aught, cut it off. I'll come in here with my single strand floss. One wrap back, one wrap forward. Kind of lay my floss fairly flat, and I'll attach my thread on here again. Tie everything off. My tinsel is going to stay all the way there. Tie off the uh, floss in behind here. It's good. I usually put that on another bodkin, then a bobbin, and then I can uh, manage it a little better. Don't have to touch it with my fingers. If your fingers are a little abrasive, it kind of ruffles that f floss up a little bit. Get some good turns of this silver tinsel. I'll tie it back over itself a little bit. Get some good turns on that so it doesn't come loose. There you go. You can put as much black showing if you want to take a few less turns of the silver, that's fine. Then I'll come in with a little more of my yellow for the throat. Cut those tips off nice and even. Then what I do is I just come in here, catch it on the side, roll it under.
usually spreads it out pretty good. There we go. And I'll just get a little bit of this squirrel or the under under wing. Don't need much of that. Nice. Pull those, thin them out a little bit, just put them in together in a pile. This is a little bit slippery to work with. I get that so it's coming out right to the tail, cut it off, and then I can just kind of roll that on. There it's nice, laying nice and flat. And then we'll get some of our two strands of our Tokens Black Seal. I end up cutting a whole whack with there. I don't want too much flash on this fly because I already got the flash in the body. I'm just going to throw this in the middle. I want a little definition on this fly in the center. I, I've done this, uh, I like this wing better than the traditional hack wing. It's a little gray and a little brightness in there too. So now when I come in with the, the calf tail, and I'll bring that. There's some longer fibers here. And make sure you get the under fur out too. They're a little bit there. And you want to make sure that comes right to about the end. If you see anything longer, grab them while you can. Clip this off. And then when I tie this in, it's going to want to slip on me. So I just keep wrapping, make sure you got it good and tight. And get a nice big head on it. You can wrap over top those butts. Put a little head cement underneath it if you're worried you don't have enough pressure on it. That'll help. I'll just finish it right here. Yeah, it looks all right. Come in a little solar res. Always coat your streamers. Get a little of that. This is the, uh, I'm using bone dry. It's quite thin. Get a little bit on that hair. That's good. That even helps hold that in a little bit. Come in with the my light. Stay on. Cook that on, and this fly will be very durable. And like I say, I it's a big component for me. When the fishing is good, I don't want to be changing flies or having them falling apart. Or if I'm selling flies to people, I like them to be durable. I want them to be happy with what they're fishing and have them last a long time wherever I can make them more durable. So there it is. That's a little variation of my uh, Black Ghost, and it's a very productive streamer for you, so next time you're out fishing uh, for brook trout especially, you want to make sure you have a few of these with you. Make sure you tie a half a dozen extra for your buddies. They'll be wanting to help you try these out as well because you'll be into some really nice uh, brookies with that. And there's other species that'll eat this as well. So thanks again for watching. If you're not a member, make sure you sign up. Sport Fishing on the Fly. And lots of videos on there for fishing tips and also Lots of fly patterns for you. So, catch you again real soon.